we don't, you know, we've been sitting on this medic. Yeah, a lot of us been sitting on these medications for a minute, and just relaxing in a sense, chilling. Is the ride about to be over for compound for terzepatide compound? Eli Lilly's GOP-1 brand medications Zepbound and Manjaro shortage is set to end, according to Eli Lilly, in a matter of days. Let's get into it. It's Jazz, Men, Nicole, and welcome to Weight with Jazz, a safe space for the obese, the overweight, those who just want to lose weight, and myself to share our weight journeys and a little bit of my life too. Used to be 284 pounds 12 years ago, lost 175 pounds through intermittent fasting and running. It got me to, well, I'm sorry, lost 115 pounds. They got me to 175 pounds from intermittent fasting and running and um, needed to pursue the last 45 pounds on GOP-1 brand medication. Zepbound, and I'm currently on the maintenance dose of 7.5 trizepatide compound. So I lost a total of 154 pounds, went from 284 pounds to 130 pounds. I'm now in my maintenance phase. That's where I'm at. This video is about the shortage stated to end according to Eli Lilly in days. And what does this mean for terzepatide compound users? According to the FDA. So in recent news today, August 1st, 2024, US drug maker Eli Lilly Expects, expects its blockbuster weight loss drug to officially come out of shortage in the United States in coming days. Bloomberg News reported on Thursday, citing an interview with the company's CEO, David Ricks. Lily's drug, Terzepatide, sold as Manjaro for diabetes and Zepbound for weight management, will cease to be in shortage very soon, CEO <coughs> David Ricketts said in an interview with Bloomberg in Paris. The US Food and Drug Administration's website lists some doses of Manjaro and Zepbound as being in limited supply. Manjaro has been on the FDA shortage list since late 2022. The health regulator said it has no further comments to provide beyond what is available on its drug shortage list, while Lilly did not immediately respond to, the, to a request for a comment. The agency generally assesses whether all back orders for drug have been filled and supply is meeting or exceeding demand before removing a drug from its shortage list. Lilly said in April that it expects supply of Zepbound to remain quite tight, in quotations, in the near midterm as it ramps up capacity. Eli Lilly and Danish rival Novo Nordisk are racing to increase production and weight loss drug market estimated to reach about $150 billion by early 2030s. Both the company's obesity treatments belong to a class of drugs originally developed for diabetes known as GLP-1 agonists. GLP-1 drugs have been shown to help patients lose on average of as much as 20% of their weight fueling unparalleled demand. Separately, Lilly reported earlier on Thursday that Zepbound helped reduce the risk of hospitalization, death, and other outcomes for obese adults with common type of heart failure. There we go. And that is the extent of the most recent GOP news, GOP1 news in regard to the shortage. And what it sounds like is that this shortage is about to be over in a matter of days. Days, it's August 1st. Days, we're talking about days. So I'm thinking like, yeah, within the next couple of days or so, that's what it's sounding like and that's what it's reading as. This is definitely a major move. This is a major move that looks like uh, Lily is fed up with the compound market because we know that once the shortage ends, technically, you know, 
was it 503B pharmacies, which are produce the compound in uh, mass production, no longer uh, produce the compound. What does that mean for 503A pharmacies that individually produce compounds for patients? Is that gonna apply to the 503A uh, pharmacies, which uh, we are, most of us are patients of? And this is drastic, it's a, mat a matter of days. I mean, we better be watching the clock and inquiring in with your uh, health physicians, your telehealth providers. What happens if, if you know, if this actually goes through or is, is this like a type of scare tactic or bluff? I mean, obviously the shortage does need to in to relieve itself but according to previous information that was forecasted shortage was not set to end uh until 2026 from my information now all of a sudden we come with an abrupt announcement that has a little personality to it in my opinion it's abrupt it's like we gotta make an expedited move. And we know that as long as these compounds are fueling, which they are definitely entering in the market, they have their own market itself pretty much. And it seems like they're becoming a competitor to the brand name GOP-1 medications. Cause obviously it seems like the compounds are becoming somewhat of a threat to the residual revenue that the brand medication provides because the insurance covers it. And then other people, who can afford it will self-pay, but for the most part, the insurances will pay that continuously, making it residual. So these funds are just coming in. The compound market now is a, a countering agent, although it's an assisting agent because it's, it's there as a result, well, you know, of the shortage as far as being used for those purposes, because compounds have been around in general, but weight loss related compounds, GOP-1 specifically in this situation is because of the brand name shortages. Now, although I wanna be on this for a lifetime, I don't know based on the constantly evolving GOP-1 news and its accessibility, I mean, I don't know if it's gonna be available. So, I mean, we need to be mindful, be mindful um, and have plans in place, have, enough of a supply in place, fill them scripts, get them filled, get them filled. Like I said, the things are changing every day. And Lily said a matter of days. So I don't know if this is a bluff, but it's not a bluff. I don't think it's a bluff, but you never know. Be ready. You know, you know, we've been sitting on this medic. Yeah, a lot of us been sitting on these medication for a minute, just relaxing in a sense, chilling. Is the ride about to be over for compound for terzepatide compound? We shall see. We have to watch. Get ready, though. Bye. Staying ready. I'm gonna get at y'all the next video. Be real.